Have you ever been delightfully terrified? <laughs> like in a horror movie? I hope so. I hope that's a genre you like, because this Phenol A, some of the information I've uncovered is is right up there with some of the slasher fi flicks that uh, we've all become so familiar with nowadays. So we're going to dive into some .gov sites here. I'm going to show you how not only like the title implies that bisphenol A is in most all of us, in our bloodstreams and in our urine, uh, I'm going to show you how it's in 43% of all the rivers in America, how it's in most all the beverage containers, canned foods, a large percentage of all the plastic containers, baby formulas, you know, you name it. It's right out there in the open. Uh, just so you know, we're first off going to go to some .govs and see what they're telling us about bisphenol A. So sit down, prepare to brace yourself, keep all arms and legs in the vehicle while it's moving. Welcome to Experimental Vaccines. Here we go. Well, like I said, EPA, the Environmental Pollution Agency. <laughs> Well, it's a .gov, and of course, uh, uh, one of my favorites, this building a database of developmental neurotoxins. If you've seen some of my other videos, I do go to this uh, page a lot, and only because it helps establish a mind frame for you to keep this in, this context in your mind while you're listening to them uh, talk about uh, bisphenol A. Uh, we're going to scroll over here. This is uh, on the substantial evidence of developmental neurotoxicity. And you can see here, let me pull it up here, you can see right here bisphenol A. Okay, so they already disclosed to you here that it is a neurotoxin. But now we're going to go to some other sites and they're going to talk about levels and amounts. They like to change the language and focus on, on, on the language rather than the reality of it all. And the reality of it all is that this is a neurotoxin, which means it affects the way your brain develops. All right? So follow me over to uh, the next site, and I, I think you're going to enjoy this. All right, now that we know that the EPA has declared out loud that uh, bisphenol A is a neurotoxin, let's go here. We're on John Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. You can see it's a .edu. I told you it was coming. Um, let me scroll down here just a second. I want to read you some stuff. Since now we know it's a neurotoxin, let's learn a little bit more about BPA. Here we go. Bisphenol A, or BPA, is one of the highest volume chemicals produced worldwide. Over 6 billion pounds are produced each year. <laughs> That's quite a lot. We'll look down here. It says, in the United States, the Center for Disease Creation and Proliferation has monitored urine levels of BPA across the population and has confirmed that exposures are widespread and throughout all age and racial groups. Hmm. One more thing before we jump to the next dot gov. In laboratory animal studies, exposure to BPA in utero and during infancy was found to adversely affect brain development and behavior. So that supports right there the um, EPA's disclosure that yes it's a neurotoxin. You can see here also the National Toxicology Program. We're going to be getting to them in a second. So first let's do, uh, jump over to another .gov and I think you're going to find this impressive. Remember I mentioned about the rivers? So <laughs> here we go. Like I promised, the Center for Disease Creation and Proliferation. <laughs> yeah, I've got them stupid glasses on. Well, I don't call them stupid. I like these classes. Anyways, I promised you .govs, and I really do like the disclosures they make here. We're on the National Biomonitoring Program here by the CDC about bisphenol A. And of course, here, what I told you before, here, I'll read it to you. In 1999 through 2000, bisphenol A was detected in 41.2% of 139 U.S. streams in 130 states. So right there is the disclosure I wanted to make because most of all of our public drinking water, of course, comes from streams along with bottled water, any of the beer that gets processed or sodas that get processed with uh, um, natural uh, or natural waters or resources, those come from rivers. So enjoy the information. Now we know why uh, or how we have so much B BPA in our systems. And remember I told you I was going to show you how uh, we have a uh, 93% uh, BPA. 
But, well, let's go over to that .gov site here and uh, brace yourself. So, and it's funny too. The page is actually called "Since You Asked." Bisphenol A. <laughs> what is bisphenol A? It goes over the facts like we talked about of being an epoxy resin. I remember I used epoxy resin when I was working in construction. We used it to bond steel to concrete. <laughs> Great. Let's go down here a little bit. And I will show you here. It says, why are people concerned about BPA? One reason people may be concerned about BPA is because human exposure to BPA is widespread. The 2003-2004 National Health and Nutritional Exam Survey, the NHANEES-3, conducted by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, found detectable levels of BPA in 93% of the 2,517 urine samples from people six years and older. So there's the kaboom. <laughs> I told you it was coming, so I'm, I'm glad you were sitting down. Once again, you'll see this is a, a .gov site. You know, this is the CDC, straight from the uh, the horse's mouth, so to speak. Well, I guess it's not the CDC. We're on the uh, the National Institute of Environmental Health Services, or nope, excuse me, Health Sciences. It's a, a organization part of the National Institute of Health. They have, I believe, 27 different agencies. The CDC is one of them. And of course, this is another. So uh, we love the disclosures. Let's keep marching forward here. I think you're going to um, enjoy, uh, or <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> you're going to cry some more. Follow me. <laughs> Let's find out from Toxtown what exactly bisphenol A is going to do to our bodies. Since this is a .gov, I'm sure the information here is going to be at least pertinent to someone. The National Library of Medicine. You can see by that inverted pyramid and the, the rising sun that the New World Order is probably the webmaster here. <laughs> let's, let's scroll down and see what bisphenol A or BPA can do to our bodies, at least what the dot .gov is willing to tell us. Right off the bat, they say bisphenol A is an endocrine disruptor. Now, I mentioned before that National Toxicological Program, the NTP, they say it has some concern for effects on the brain, behavior, and prostate gland in fetuses, infants, and children at current human exposures to BPA. Now, look at this here. The U.S. Geological Survey is confident that adult exposure to BPA affects the male reproductive tract, and the long-lasting effects in response to developmental exposure to BPA occur in the brain, male reproductive system, and metabolic processes. So there's your disclosures about what it does to our bodies. It messes where there are hormones and turns men into women and women into hyper women. So let's move forward. We're going to hit some dot coms now and end this on a high note. All right. Thanks for staying with me. Here we go. Seems like even the mainstream news, the telegraph here, uh, dot co out of uh, the UK, it's a, uh, at an article here, bisphenol A now linked to male infertility. The article starts with bisphenol A, BPA, known as the gender-bending chemical because of its connections to male impotence, has now shown to decrease sperm mobility and quality. So, let's uh, head over to my website here, and we'll shore the end of it up here, um, and uh, see what, what things we can do uh, to prevent this, stop this, or at least expose it for what it is. So let's jump over there. <laughs> Delightfully terrified, I, I did warn you. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's not much we can really do to avoid the BPA, the bisphenol A. It's everywhere. It's a part of plastics. It's been around since 1947, a man-made chemical. You know, in those plastics, I mean, that comes from oil. You know, in those oil companies, you talk about the New World Order, look out. They're looking at you with one eye, aren't they? But there are some states that are getting it out of their water supply. 
and some of the countries out there have banned uh, BPA in their products. Uh, a lot of the other uh, websites that you'll find and run into, you'll, you'll see that most everybody realizes that BPA is toxic and it's doing things to us. Uh, the things that it's doing to us, it's, it's ensuring the pharmaceutical, age, pharmaceutical companies have a bigger profit margins. Yeah, you know, uh, especially with the effects on small children. So they get them, they get them hurt, injured, or affected somehow at a small age, young age, and boom, there's their customer for life. You know, oh, well, sorry about all the wonderful news we've talked about. <laughs> But anyway, uh, at least we can we we don't have to be dumb, we don't have to be ignorant, we don't have to be stupid. You know, we can be aware of these things. And the way to fight the new world order is just to either not cooperate with the system or expose it for what it is, my friends. Until next time, experimentalvaccines.org. Signing out.